it should have been a special night for Ryan Jack. Winning your first cap playing at the ground you used to call home, it should have been an evening he'd never forget. Jack probably won't forget it but not for the right reasons. Because when the midfielder and Ed Fullback comes to look back on wearing the dark blue of his country for the first time, many of his memories will be soured by the thought of being booed by the fans who are supposed to be cheering him. And all because he left Aberdeen for Rangers in the summer. On Thursday night Jack joined another club, one hell wish he hadn't, the booze boo of international football. Here's who else has shamefully been jeered by their own fans. Gary McAllister Image Getty the former Leeds United midfielder was booed mercilessly during a defeat by the Czech Republic in 1999. So he missed a penalty that cost Scotland the chance of a Euro 96 win over England. So he continued to be played in the dark blue despite a loss of form. Blame Murray Geller and a moving penalty spot for the first one, and Craig Brown for the second. The heckling hurt McAllister, so much so he retired from international football just a week after the barrage of abuse he suffered at Celtic Park. He said at the time, I am extremely disappointed because I know I am still good enough to play at international level and contribute something to the Scotland side. You bet he was. Just a few months later he was transferred from Coventry to Liverpool, where he helped the Anfield Giants to the FA Cup, the League Cup, the UEFA Cup and the Super Cup. Redemption was achieved and the critics were silenced. Lee Wallace image daily record another Rangers player to get a tight from the Tartan Army. The left-back DIDNT even make Gordon Strawness team against Lithuania in 2016 during that embarrassing and ultimately costly 11 draw, but was heard to have heard copping abuse from the crowd. Why who knows you'd have to ask the small minority of morons who booed him upon his name being read out at Hampton. Maybe it's because he had the gall to withdraw from the previous squad when he was injured. Strange then Lee Griffiths and Kieran Tierney DIDNT draw similar heckling seeing as though they also pulled out of the group to face Malta. Poor show. Fred Image Michael Dalde Reuters Pele, Romario, Ronaldo and, er, Fred. Yep, the supporters of the country that produced the aforementioned superstars of the game DIDNT take too well to the inclusion of the lumbering, less than graceful striker from Fluminense. In fact, DIDNT take too well is a massive understatement. As Brazil suffered an embarrassing 71 annihilation to Germany in the World Cup semi-final, in their own country, Fred bore the brunt of the fans' fury. Boot throughout the match, he was taken off by Luis Felipe Scolari in what could only be described as a mercy substitution. But even as he hid away on the bench, the humiliation WASNT complete for Fred. As his face flashed up on the big screen the booze rang round the stadium again. Ouch. Wayne Rooney image Michael Regan the FA the former Manchester United star is England's all-time leading goal scorer, hitting the back of the net 53 times. He has made 119 appearances for his country, the second highest number of caps won by a three-lion to sit behind only Peter Shilton. But those feats didnt. Stop a section of the 81,000 crowd at Wembley booing Rooney against Malta last October, especially when one wild swing of his boot saw a shot go off target to such a degree it nearly ended up in the Emirates. True, he looked past his best and his selection has been criticized. But his inclusion was hardly Rooney's fault. A few games later Rooney quit international football. You could hardly blame him. Ian Black a torrent of abuse washed up at Ian Black's feet when he made his international debut against Australia in 2012. His crime again, you'd need to ask those motivators from the Easter Road stands but the suspicion remained it was because he played for Rangers while they operated in the third division, having also turned out for hearts. One thing that is not up for debate is the level of booing that came the way of Black. Horrendous stuff. Terry Butcher image action images even the man who literally bled for his country WASNT immune to a cacophony of catcalls from his own fans. The centre-back was the subject of one of football's most iconic images when, with eyes displaying a wild look, a blood-soaked head bandage and claret-stained shirt, he celebrated a result that helped haul England to Italian 90. Yet he still received abuse from his own fans who felt Tony Adams should have been in the side. Butcher once said anybody who boos a player turning out for their country should anti go to the game, should anti watch their nation play. Quite. Olivier Giroud image Eddie Keo Reuters the Arsenal striker was jeered off the pitch by France fans after a poor performance against Serbia in 2015. D.I.D. and T. Matter that he has won 57 caps. D.I.D. and T. Matter that he has amassed 21 goals. Boo him anyway. But fast forward 12 months and those same Les Blias supporters were desperate he would be fit to face Germany in the semi-final of Euro 2016. Giroud made the match and helped fire France to the final. How do you like them, Pom?